Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. And what I wanted to talk about today is maybe a problem you're having when you're trying to do your auto exposure bracketing or focus bracketing or HDR or live ND. And when you choose one of these modes, the camera forces you into a continuous shutter mode, either mechanical or silent. And I recommend you always choose the silent continuous shutter when you use one of these modes because typically you're on a tripod and you wanna minimize vibration so you don't wanna use the mechanical shutter because you're gonna be stacking these images together, right? That said, the problem is when you push the shutter button, these actions happen right away. The camera just starts exposure bracketing or the camera starts focus bracketing or the camera starts taking the HDR picture as soon as you push the shutter button. And there's potential there for camera motion by you pushing down on the camera shutter button. So to minimize that, you need to use some, some sort of delayed shutter, right? A time a self timer shutter, but the camera won't let you do that. It forces you into that continuous shutter mode. So the workaround is make sure you select continuous silent shutter and then set the silent shutter delay. So let me show you that. All right, let me show you the problem that I'm sure many of you run into. If I go into the super control panel, you can see we're in silent shutter mode, which is fine. But let's go into the menu and go into the computational menu and we'll go into number three and let's do auto exposure bracketing. We'll just do three frames, one EV. Now click OK to go into Super Control Panel. You can see the camera has forced me into the continuous shutter silent. And if I click OK again, you can see I have a choice, right? Mechanical shutter or silent shutter continuous or sequential. But I can't go to anything else. Everything else is grayed out. So what happens is um, when I take a picture, it's going to instantaneously uh, bracket the images. And just note that uh, to bracket the images, uh, all at once, you have to push and hold the shutter button until the sequence is done. So let me do that real quick. And it's done. I can let go. And now it's taken all three images. If I, if I just click the shutter button very quickly, you can see that the bracketing icon is now yellow, or I'm sorry, green, which means it's not done yet. So I got to push it again very quickly. And now it's done. So just be sure that you hold the shutter button down until the bracketing sequence is done. If you let go, the bracketing icon should be white. If it's still green, then you'll have to push it and hold it down again until it finishes. So the problem is the camera didn't give us any self timer options in the shutter mode so that when we push the shutter button, there's some delay before it actually starts taking the images. But there is a workaround. As long as you're in silent shutter mode, you can set up a silent shutter delay. And that's in a different menu. So let me show you where that is. So all you need to do is go into shooting menu number one, then go over here to page seven and scroll down to silent settings and change the waiting time from zero to whatever your options here up to 30 seconds. And then four to eight seconds is usually enough. So now when I push and hold the shutter button, it's gonna wait four seconds before it starts taking the images, as you can see. And now the sequence is done. I can let go of the button and we're back to the white bracketing icon. So again, you push and hold the shutter button down for four seconds, it'll start the bracketing sequence. And when it's finished, you can let go. And then that sequence is done. You know, assuming you see the white icon. However, <laughs> I understand it's still not ideal that you have to hold the camera uh, while it's doing the bracketing. Now there is a workaround. What you can do is, with that four second delay set, you can push the shutter button all the way down once, let go, it'll have that four second delay, and then it'll take one picture in the bracketing sequence. So if we were doing a three frame sequence, I would just have to do that two more times, right? Push it down, let go, four second delay, and then another picture. And I'll see the green icon, right? The green bracketing icon. I'll know it's not done just in case I lose count. I can't count to three for some reason. So I can push the shutter button down again, let go, 
it'll give me that four second delay it'll take the next picture so that's the workaround so that technically you're not really touching the camera during the exposure and you can finish your bracketing sequence uh, whether it's five five bracketing or seven i think it'll do up to seven uh, sequences in bracketing and again it's not ideal on the em1 mark iii i used to do this automatically using the custom timer mode in the camera but for some reason for auto exposure bracketing it's been disabled in this camera uh, so hopefully olympus can bring that back because that was really handy i actually use that a lot in my professional work the custom self timer with auto exposure bracketing all right now there is some good news when you have your silent shutter set to that four second wait time when you're doing focus uh, bracketing focus bracketing right where the camera steps the focusing you just can push the shutter button down fully once let go there'll be that four second delay then the camera will automatically do the focus bracketing and step through all the focus points that you set uh, without you having to touch the camera so in that scenario it's perfect and the same thing with the focus stacking mode uh, you push the shutter button down fully once let go It'll have that four second delay, then it'll go through its bracketing sequence and then stack it for you. And then HDR, exactly the same. Push the shutter button down, four second delay, and then it'll do that HDR bracketing for you. So in those three modes, it's perfect. Now other modes like high res mode has, has their own separate uh, delay built into the menu. So you don't have to set it in the silent shutter mode for that. And I'm sure there's a lot of other combinations that might be available that I haven't, you know, figured out yet. But those were the most important ones, I think, was the auto exposure bracketing and the uh, focus bracketing. Those are two that you really don't want to touch the camera while it is, uh, you know, doing the exposure, especially the bra uh, focus bracketing. Now, let me give you one more tip here, and that is I put all of these things into my menu, too. So I have my silent settings here, and I can just quickly set that to four seconds, and then I can go to whatever computational mode I want to use. And I forgot to mention, you can also use this for live ND shooting if you want. Uh, it's very handy there because, again, you're using very long exposures, and it's better that you don't have to touch the camera if you don't have to. So I hope you found those settings and tips helpful. If so, click the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you can, buy me a coffee or two. It really makes making these videos a lot easier, and I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.